them. Our camp is behind us, and we outnumbered them three to one. We're gonna slaughter them tonight. Edward! Edward! You need to come home now! You need to come see Mother. She thinks you're rich and living happily. Edward! <laughs> Although the child still did not understand the idea of death, she was beginning to understand that life was not everything that her mother had told her it was. Her brother was not the same person she played games with only a few short years before. More afraid than ever, she continued her journey to find her father.
Please don't be frightened. I'm not going to hurt you, young lady. Who are you? Where are you? You're on a journey, are you not? Yes, I am. Tell me about your home. Did you have lots of friends there? Why do you want to know? It's just an interest of mine. I like to know about the people that I feed. Oh. Well, my only friend was my brother. I see. And you had no other friends? No one else to play with? You certainly must have had suitors. No, not one. Our home is in the woods, which is far away from the market. A girl your age should have friends. We have lots of friends here. I have visitors all the time. That's very nice. What is your favorite memory of childhood? My favorite memory? My favorite memory would probably be Dorothy. Dorothy? Yes, she's my doll. Ah, and a very special doll. Mm-hmm. Why is Dorothy so special? When I was young, my mom and I were at the market. I saw Dorothy in the window of a toy store and begged for her. We didn't have enough money, but I wanted her so badly. But then something good happened. You came home one day and Dorothy was there. Yes, on my bed. Mother snuck out and bought her for me. She didn't eat dinner for the next two weeks. But you love the doll. Yes. You still love Dorothy, but she doesn't look the same anymore, does she? No. You loved her so much that you wore her out, and now she's just a piece of cloth. Yeah. I have something to show you. So soft. Look under the pillow. It's her! I thought you would like it. Where did you find her? She looks like she's brand new! Have you ever seen a monster? On my way here, I heard something run past me. And my brother said he was fighting animals. No, no, no. Those weren't monsters. Monsters are much, much scarier. They'll try to hurt you however they can. You don't know any monsters, do you? Of course not, child. But outside of this room, there are lots of them. I'm very tired. You may stay here for as long as you like. But before you go to bed, I have a present for you. <laughs> 